I was watching YouTube recently and came across a video by the YouTuber EMC Productions regarding the intro of Hot for Teacher by Van Halen. In the video, he transcribes the intro and states that it's impossible to play it all at once. He cites an article that states Alex used four bass drums to record the intro. I will explain why he and a lot of people have it all wrong. A few articles, all stemming from one original source, most likely, claim that Alex used four bass drums in the recording of the intro. This very likely came from the fact that Alex had four bass drums in his live setups for years before. For the recording of 1984, Alex used Simmons electronic drums along with the Brodo toms. Here's a picture in the stu in Eddie's studio where you can see a whole Simmons kit set up in the behind him. Here's the from the jump video you can see Alex with his Roto Tom set up. This most likely came from his Bill Bruford inspiration. Bruford was an endorser of Simmons and Roto Toms being utilized at the same time. Alex was a pretty big Bill Bruford fan. The four bass drums confusion probably came from the fact that Simmons toms could be tuned to sound like a bass drum. The Herda introduction is simply Alex playing on the Simmons pad with his arms, not his feet as EMC Productions suggests. Search the internet to see if there's anyone else talking about this intro and found a lot of people saying Eddie's car was recorded for the intro. This can be easily disproven because Eddie's Lamborghini was recorded for the breakdown of Panama, not Hot for Teacher. Another reason why this is wrong is because Alex's intro was written to sound like an idling shovelhead engine Harley, not a car. EMC Productions actually mentions this, so at least he didn't fall for the myth. Here I have a multi-track recording for Hot for Teacher, ripped from the Guitar Hero games. As you can see, we have a bass drum track up here, and a tom track. The rest is snare and overhead, but we'll get to that later. I'll slow them down so you can hear what's going on. The song starts with the Simmons drum pad being played with his hands, as I mentioned earlier. Next comes the double bass, but being played by his feet. Here's that isolator. This goes up throughout the entire song. Lastly, the roto tom enters. where EMC Productions gets it all wrong. Because of the tones of the bass drum and the toms, they really muddle together when played as one track. EMC transcribed the intro to feature the hurdles going throughout the entire intro, but that's not what's happening. When the roto toms enter, you can hear the electronic drum simplified because he's playing them both at the same time, meaning the roto tom with his left hand and the electronic drum with his right. I'll slow that down so you can hear it. This 
which means that the intro is entirely possible to play at once, which I am in the belief that Alex did. The next level of the speculation around the intro is if Alex recorded it separately from the rest of the track. Check this out. I'll play the isolated bass drum transition from the intro into the actual song. Unmute the rest of the track so you can hear it. As you can hear, it's pretty seamless. I know that it's possible that it could have been spliced after the fact, but I have a strong feeling that he played it all at once in the final take. There's so much myth surrounding Van Halen that I don't really expect EMC Productions to know all of those myths. Especially when the guys in the band contribute to the myths and speculation just by joking around or just misremembering history. It takes a real nerd to figure out if you can trust what you can hear and read about the band. So that's why I made the video. I hope this helped anyone trying to learn the intro and I hope you found it interesting. See you next time.